Good luck. people so you can hear the dogs in the background we are in South Carolina to do some rabbit hunting uh, probably do a little hog hunting and uh, you see this big lake behind me right here that's about a 45 or 50 acre lake and uh, you can see all this stuff I brought with me uh, this is our mobile dog lot a dog box and uh, got coolers dog food I brought the boat with me. I've been coming down here hunting on this particular farm for probably six or seven years and I've never, I fished this lake from the bank a couple of times and uh, supposedly I know it's got crappy and it got some bass. So hey, we're going to do some crappy fishing. I'm going to break this video. Uh, we're going to be here for about a week. We got some rain coming in a couple of days so I don't know if we'll get to hunt but uh, so if you're watching the rabbit hunting videos, if you're watching that, uh, look for those fishing videos too. We'll be doing a little bit of both. We'll be doing some hog hunting. Hey guys, you stay with us and we're gonna go jump a rabbit in just a few minutes once we get all this stuff unloaded. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these in, in series. Uh, so these will be in series, South Carolina one, South Carolina two, South Carolina three. And uh, that way you guys can follow along with us as we hunt for the whole week. You put a collar on the top. No collar. This one. Uh, orange. Hey guys, so hey, we're getting ready to get started. We're getting ready to go in this big thicket behind me. Hey, we got Kelsey, Justin, and the old guys, Kenny and Dwayne, are still back up there at the truck, and we're trying to get the dogs in this thicket right here. Anyway, uh, on this particular farm, we have swamp rabbits, we have cottontail rabbits. We'll be hunting different kinds of terrain. Uh, we'll be hunting some honeysuckle thicket, briar thickets. Be hunting the edge of some big fields, farmland. We'll be hunting some swampy areas. So we have all sorts of um, places to hunt. And so in these ver uh, series of videos, we'll talk about uh, the different terrains where you can find rabbits in when you come down. So this is kind of a farmland, but we'll get into some uh, some really swampy areas. So you can see it's pretty thick behind us. Uh, we've jumped rabbits in here before, so we're gonna let the dogs hunt in here and uh, let's go jump us a rabbit. Well, they coming back around. They got the rabbit up. Finally. So, you want to put them back in this same thicket? You want to put... So, we, we got the rabbit. And uh, it's so thick, I can't get through there to actually get it. But anytime, you, you see what we jumped the rabbit out of, and it's really thick behind me. And uh, so it sounded like the dogs might have split. So anytime you're out rabbit hunting, and somebody shoots, and, you know, they may have killed a side rabbit so 
If you want to kill more rabbits, just hold, hold tight. Don't move, don't talk, and just watch through the woods. Because sometimes a rabbit will shoot out and somebody will get a shot at it, called a side rabbit. And the dogs will bring the other rabbit back around. So, hey, that was a good short run. Hey, we got one down. And, uh, hey, we're going to put them back in the bushes. Hey, let's go jump another rabbit. You know, we've got right up on the edge. Of this, this is a huge uh, thicket right here. It should have a couple of rabbits in it. And, uh, you know, years ago, I would plow right through that thicket, work my way through there. And uh, actually, we was here in South Carolina hunting. And one day, there was a much smaller thicket. And me and Kenny was over in the thicket, walking around, trying to kick up a rabbit. And me and him just stopped. And this was early on when we was rabbit hunting. And I, we stopped, we looked. Well, all the dogs were standing around the thicket watching us trying to jump the rabbit. And we decided then we were going to stop. It's, it's hard not to help the dogs some, you know, kick a few bushes. But for the most part, <clears throat> your dogs will learn uh, to get in there. And the more you let them get in there, the more rabbits they jump in thickets, the harder they'll hunt. And our pack of dogs hunt really hard, uh, I will say. I mean... 90% of them are in there actually, you know, hunting for a rabbit. And we've got a couple that are really good about getting into stuff, finding a rabbit. So give your dogs time to get uh, in the thicket and work it. This is a big thicket, so we're going to take our time and let the dogs uh, get in here and jump a rabbit. So just remember that as you're out rabbit. So we just jumped one out of this, this planted pines. We've actually moved. And, uh, we found out where we were uh, hunting just a little few minutes ago was uh, we only took one rabbit there. And uh, the, uh, the water has been up really high there. So we loaded the dogs up and we come on the backside of this big field you can see behind me. So there's some planted pines, probably about four or five years old. Dogs jumped as soon as we got here. So we're gonna spread out along the edge of this field right here. You can see the hunters moving along and uh, see if we can spot this rabbit. Get it because I'm going to shoot it right off the under. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to shoot it out from under me! <laughs> I didn't see it! You didn't see it! Did he cross the road? Yeah. She's standing out like this. No, she won't. I was backing the camera up so I could see it. You didn't even see it. Who? I didn't see it. I saw on the camera. I was back. I saw her and the rabbit. I was backing the camera up so she could get her on film. I was ready, but I didn't expect him that fast. Oh, Kelsey. Good gracious. That doggone thing's the fastest. Did you get it on camera? You'll see how fast that daggum thing went across there. Oh, and even Tasha, you better get ready. I and even told her. Even said, was, get ready. I was ready. Get ready. You couldn't have hit that, Kenneth. Golly. I don't believe I'm the one that's had two sneak out behind me today, if you know what I'm saying. Well, good luck. So, let me give you an update. You can see these planted pines behind me. We've been running this rabbit for about 30 minutes. And it's hard to see him. We've shot at him twice. He's been into three blocks of woods. Now he's back over here. The dogs is on a check right now. So we're going to give them some time. See if they can pick the rabbit up. So, Kenny got the rabbit. You heard him shoot just a second ago. And uh, we come down the field, and there's, a, there's actually a peninsula that kind of runs out in this old field right here. You can see how thick it is. And we're going to let the dogs hunt out in it. And uh, hopefully we'll get a shot at this rabbit. It's been pretty thick down here, so it's tough to get a shot at the rabbit. So stay with us, and we'll see what happens.
what we'll do, <clears throat> we always like to show the rabbit to the dog because those dogs have worked hard to finally get this rabbit. This is the same rabbit that I spotted out there in that thicket. And I just glimpsed him for a second. He went across one of those deer paths. He come in here behind us across this road bed and went back in this peninsula. Anyway, the dogs will be out here in a minute. We'll show them to the dog. Here's old Cottontail. Dead rabbit, dead rabbit, dead rabbit. Good girl. Dead rabbit. Good girl. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. He didn't get him. Well, Kelsey just shot at the rabbit. We're not sure whether it's a side rabbit or the rabbit the dogs is running. They've been chunking this rabbit for about 45 minutes. We're gonna hang right here. We're not gonna go out. Just in case, I hear them calling the dogs now. Did they tear him up bad? Did the dogs tear him up bad? A little bit. No, just his tail. How close was he? Yeah? Yeah, because that's where the, the fur was at. Fur in the road right there. What was the other two shots for? Follow up? Just good well, I heard, I heard the, I was hey. at the corner and I heard the pellets go out in the field out there beside of it. Uh, oh, you was ducking? No, I was backing up. I mean, I heard them in front of me, you know, because I was trying to stay out of the way. I thought you were shooting a long ways where you were shooting just throwing a barrage up. No, really I hit him with, far, I hit him with the first one. Right I just here. like to take extra precautions. All right. Hey, so what's happening guys? Hey, uh, we got busy setting up these dog lots and I forgot to do the outro for the, uh, for the video. But anyway, we wound up, it wasn't a really great day today. We killed four rabbits, but man, we had some hour long runs in that thick stuff uh, out there. And finally, we just had to get in there with the rabbits, uh, a couple of us. And every time the dogs would carry the rabbit out uh, we would move up and find us a little open spot and we just kept doing that till we finally cornered the rabbits or we got them to push them out hard enough to go across the road but hey, I want to just show you this this is our setup and uh, so this this is kind of makeshift that we set up just temporary we'll be here for about a week and uh, there was this lot was already here there was a couple of barrels already there so we've got some uh, fresh pine needles in there and that's my mobile uh, box here that I built so I can take it out and we got some pine shavings we brought this net here so we got the food and water for the dogs uh, four-wheeler trailer and uh, so we set up we put a makeshift tarp over it we expecting some rain to come in tonight and tomorrow not sure if we'll get any video footage tomorrow of uh, actual rabbit hunt we're gonna see um, anyway I appreciate all the support that we get for this channel. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you've seen something maybe that you learned that can take into your hunting experience. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that. Hit that like button. Click that notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. Hey, guys, and you remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you in the field. That's what no, that was a hotel. Uh -oh. no. oh, it was a couple of them right here. Yeah. Which one goes with them? You got them on.